Tonight, we dine in hell. Yeah, all right, yeah, let's not stand today. Ladies and gentlemen, today's in depth review is of the Batman v Superman DC Comics multi universe Wonder Woman. Let's do this. So, start off with the packaging. Packaging is supposed to sell you the product, and this does. It's an open window design. You have red on the right side, black on top, and then a yellow background. It looks really nice. You have, uh, <laughs> you have Wonder Woman down here. I'm totally gonna mess up her name. Uh, Gal Gadet, uh, Gavilt the Fish. I don't know. And, <laughs> And down here, collect and connect grapnel blaster replica uh, for Batman. So there's her. Here's on the side. Looks really nice. She looks kind of sexy. And right there, pause that and read it if you like. On the back, you see at the top right, Wonder Woman. On the left, you have your Batman v Superman logo. DC Comics Multi Universe. It says they're based on shit. Who cares? And you have your grit bat. <laughs> and you have the top here. You have your Batman's grapnel blaster. <laughs> and you have a. And, and, it's made of a bunch of pieces, so here is uh, Armored Batman's, it goes right there. This one, I'm about to find out in a second what she's about. And it goes one through eight, and we have the first four for this film, and then the next four is somewhere else, probably for the film, maybe Aquaman, who knows. So, there's that. On the side, you get a window, a little bit. On the bottom, nobody cares. So, right off the bat, you get this stand for the Batman grapnel gun. It looks like a stand. So, just like the Armored Up Batman, who has feet that are totally not the same height, same as Gal Gadot here. Her legs are totally different lengths of one another. That's ridiculous. You can even see right here, the, uh, the knee pad is higher than the other one. This Wonder Woman sculpt does really not look like uh, Gal Gadot. Her black hair looks okay. Let's see about her head. Oh wow, that's really stiff. No head articulation at all. It's probably because of the hair. Looks very fancy. Looks very fabulous. So, her head uh, doesn't really look like Gal Gadot. Uh, does not move because of the hair. Interesting that the little brown belt is kind of loose and it looks like it can come off and it's a separate piece, but here on the back it's really not. So that's interesting. No idea the significance of this ring. <laughs> and uh, I believe this is for her sword. Excalibur. No, her sword's not named Excalibur. Well, that's pretty. Go, team, go! So, arm articulation. Her shoulders go pretty nicely up. So she can cheer on Batman or Superman. <laughs> Down. Doesn't really go much backward here for the arms. Same with this one, a little bit nice. And then forward, not much. Uh, kinda odd. So, uh, this figure is pretty underwhelming too. What you gonna do, brother? Dun, 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 dun. No articulation. At least her wrists move in a 360. Woohoo. So shoulders are nice, elbows are awful, wrists are nice. Looks like she has a torso pivot, and she does. Can sit down in a chair. She has her uh, flat tops or high tops on. Ladies, let me know what these shoes are called. <laughs> uh, accessories added to the boots to make her taller. Barely moves, oh wait a minute, wait a minute people. There we go, we can move forward, we can move forward. They almost look like Jordans right there. The articulation looks pretty damn ugly. Two torn ACL surgeries right there beneath her kneecap shield stuffs. That's a horrible shot, whoops. No, but seriously though, what the hell? That's kind of disgusting. She has her ass cheeks just hanging out there. Wow, who's the perv that did this uh, sculpt? So we have our Wonder Woman outfit. She has dark hair, red lipstick, brown eyebrows. It looks like she has some kind of makeuping going on underneath her brows and above her eyes. She has her good old Wonder Woman band. It's gold, silver little star thing. Gold and silver little gauntlets on her wrist. Brown tape for the hands. She has her red, pretty nicely detailed chest piece. Gold trim, gold trim for the skirt. The skirt is like a it's pretty soft rubber. I think it's a nice little detailing, so if she wants to do the splits, which I did not include for the articulation, she can do that, as well as, you know, turn around like this, which nobody does on her thigh articulation. I think it looks nice. You got silver touchings, and then on here on the knee pads, silver touchings, gold knee pads, 
and uh, red boots with gold here in the front. Looks totally like a wrestler right here. Then we have brown straps on the shoes and going up to the boot area on the back. And you have like this little gap for her skin. And on the back of the boots is like the same exact as the front design wise. So it looks really nice. So her sword, China. I'm just gonna call it China. China. It's actually a uh, nice detailing. I like it better than Batman's gun. You have like this very dark blue and the handle there. The handle's nicely sculpted. On the back of the handle, got a gold ring and then the blue end cap. And then for the guard here, that's a gold. I like it. And then the silver for the sword itself with a bunch of detailings there. Not so much there. I really like that area as well as the end. On this side, it is uh, the same, but it's like reversed and the China trademark. It's a nice little sword, I like it. What I like even more possibly is this shield. Uh, this shield is great. This is probably the best thing out of this whole uh, little $20 package. This is really great. It's like this uh, charcoal black, looks like black cement with the bird. And then you have a gold little, looks like manhole cover essentially. And it's got some, you know, paint bleeding, but oh well. And then you have silver around the edges here with some kind of uh, Illuminati type initiation greeting. Then the edges, you have your, it's like a, some lines. On the back, you have your little same charcoal cement thing, her little handle for her hand, and then the arm guard so she can hold it up. Made in China, right down there. And then uh, really cool on the other side, it's just replicated, but it's in silver rather than gold. And then you have a line, silver outside, the charcoal, and then another silver. It's just really nice uh, detailing. This is hands down the best part of this $20 package. I just want to show you putting weapons in her hands. Looks really great, but if you want to stand her up, it's not going to happen because whoever the fuck is working at Mattel, or at least on this line, is a bunch of fucking morons because this shield is nicely detailed, but it's heavy. She is like a lightweight. She keeps falling. We just love to fall in this line. Right when I say that, he stands. That's all you have to do, people. There we go. Piece of shit. Mattel, I, I, I uh, told you uh, how great you guys work with your WWE figures, which is like right here. John Cena looks just like John Cena. John Cena stands. He can even lean back and be straight. He'll stand just fine. Oh, hey, we're, we're standing now. Oh, now we're not. It's the damn feet being... One higher than the other. I'm trying to lean her back and she still ain't standing that well. This shit sucks, man. Oh my god, so bad. I'm gonna try switching up the arms, see if that's any better. Whoever's working on this line also doesn't know how to use weaponry with the uh, guys and girls. Like, the hand for this arm doesn't fit. This one barely does. But she can't, like, really put it in front of her like this. It's like that. You wish it would be flush in front of her. You'd think that in real life she would do that instead of like that, and she's gonna get direct hit on like 30% of her body or whatever that is. So that sucks. And then putting her sword in is a pain in the fucking ass. If you wanna go this way, ah, uh, uh, there we go. That was a pain in the ass. And if you wanna go this way, that'll probably be way easier, even though I usually go down in. Usually the way I'm used to. Pause. And we're gonna try to stand her up opposite. And she doesn't. Fuck these figures! Oh my god! These figures suck balls. What's well, Wonder Woman without her shield and her sword? It's like Batman without his fucking suit. He's just Bruce Wayne. He's not Batman. Oh my god. This figure blows. I just wanted to show you real quick Wonder Woman. She actually can balance without the stuff. You just have to spread her legs a little bit, as weird as that sounds. And I guess if you have her tight legged. Uh, she can stand as well. Well, kinda. Yeah. Yikes, this thing's nasty. Look at that body lean, dude! Can you not lean? No, you can't because one of your fucking legs is bigger than the other. Mattel. So this one's gonna be ultra easy. Wonder Woman is shorter than all these guys. So, sorry girl. Out of ten, what am I giving this Wonder Woman? A three. Uh, uh it gets a three. It gets the wasted seal of disapproval.
because people at Mattel, they made decent sculpts. This does not look like Gal Gadot. Uh, you can see the, the lines there and the, the, the shoulders and the arms don't articulate that well. It's a decent looking sculpt, just doesn't look like the chick. And uh, none of these want to balance. And if you know me, I like to have balanced figures. And if you don't have balanced toys, they're pretty much garbage. And this is. Three out of ten, Wonder Woman from Batman v Superman multi-universe figure. Guys, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Let's go on the corner and work the corner. So here is Batman. And uh, here is Batman. And uh, that is the only way you're going to make him stand. If he is... Nope, he doesn't even want to stand if you hunch him over. There we go. Yay. Uh, this figure sucks.